All right, so parting my voice in this video, I am battling the flu right now, but content must go on. So today I wanna to do some A-B testing between two Avadas. I have my completely boned stock Avada and I have my bad idea mount on it. And then I have this, the Avada that I recently just put the new Axis flying motors on. And what I wanna do is see is if it makes any difference when you're carrying a load, such as an action camera. So I have the Action 3 from DJI. We're gonna mount the Action 3 on both the stock Avada and the modified Avada with the new Axis flying motors and see if it's any improvement when flying. Let's get started. What's good everybody, Ken here. You're watching Original Dobo. Today we're gonna go ahead and do this little A-B testing comparison. And uh, first things first, we need to go ahead and bind the stock Avada over to the uh, goggles and RC. One of the downsides are the fact that you have to rebind every time you wanna swap between aircrafts. It does not remember the aircraft that you originally had, which is, I think, a bit of a, an annoying thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly bind these up and uh, then we'll take the Action 2, put it on top of the stock Avada and go ahead and fly it. That's recording. And uh, all right, let's go back to this manual mode. All right, let's do it, 20 degrees tilt. Let me make sure I got 20 degrees. No, I don't, I got, there we go. Now it's 20 degrees tilt. All right, so on the Action 3, I have it set to Rock Steady 3. It is a little windy again out here today, but uh, shouldn't make much of a difference. I'm going to try to run similar routes on both of these. All right, and so far it's flying pretty good. It's, I mean, it's as expected. Anytime you have a GoPro on here, you're not gonna be making any crazy movements. I mean, this is something a little bit more for proximity. Uh, the Action 3 is somewhat lighter, but you're not gonna be doing any sort of uh, acrobatic maneuvers, that's for damn sure, not with this. So let's keep flying it, we'll take it down here. And I really apologize about my nasally sound. I have, I've been getting my ass kicked by this flu. I mean, reality is I probably should be at home resting, not making videos, but whatever. Let's come back this way. And again, it's pretty damn windy, but it's doing a pretty good job. Yeah. able to sort of surf the treetops. And we're at 80% on this battery. I'm not gonna be flying them down like crazy, crazy, but usually with the GoPro, about 40% or so is all you wanna take this down to. Anything further, it's just gonna get a lot of battery sag and it's probably not gonna perform very well, so. Just something to keep in mind. Let's go flying this way. All right, let's try to go through this tunnel. Not bad. Got a little bit blown around there. Which caused me some problems. Yeah, it's... We're at 67%.
Gonna try to go underneath the canopy here. Be interesting to see what the action two looks or action three looks like actually. I would imagine it looks pretty similar to the Avada camera. I've been pretty happy with the action three so far and they just recently did an update to it so fixes some of the bugs. Alright, let's go out here. I wish they didn't close this off. This is such a bummer. This was a cool spot to fly before they closed this off. Oh, wait a second. There's a hole in there now. There's a hole. Ooh, we'll have to explore that next time. Looks like a little hole in there. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're coming up to about 55%. And we have been flying for six minutes with the Action 3 on here. So we'll go ahead and bring it back. That'll give us enough to gauge the battery life. I think it flies pretty good like this. Obviously, wind conditions will dictate how well it does. But not bad. All right, let's bring it back, and then we'll switch over. So 50% 50, 50 at landing, and we flew for about six, uh, six minutes. Not bad. All right, so now we got to rebind the modified Avada to the RC. Again, it's a pain in the ass that doesn't remember it, but is what it is. So once it binds to the goggles, we will now do this, put that in bind mode. One more time. It's not that bad, but it's a little bit inconvenience. I wish I had memory. Okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and take this up. I'm gonna throw my strap it on there so I don't lose this battery. Start recording. And this is gonna be the first time I fly it with the new motors and a GoPro or an action camera on top, I should say, so. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right. 20 degrees tilt. Let's see. Here we go. All right, so I can tell you straight out of the gate, the lift is greater on this than the, uh, the stock. So this has a lot more lift. At least that's how it feels right now. I think I have snot dripping down under my nose, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more lift. Like, I, I could just feel like I don't have to have my stick. I really don't have to move my stick as much to create the same movements, which is pretty cool. So we flew for six minutes with the GoPro and we landed at 50% or six minutes with the action three, landed at 50% with the stock Avada. So I'm, a, I'm expecting this to be a lot less, but we'll see. This sounds a lot better, that's for sure. It sounds like it can handle this a little bit better. I mean, the wind is still gonna blow it around. There is nothing you can do about that, but I will say that, yeah. This is handling it a lot better. Yeah, way better. Coming down, I'm not getting the same sort of oscillations that I got before. We'll have to see what the motors feel like, though, if they're going to be hotter. I'd imagine they would be. Maybe. Higher KV, 
bigger motor. Wow, almost clipped that tree. Wind is really blowing, but you can see it's really not much of a fact on this. Now I'm at 73%. Been flying for two minutes, so the battery life is definitely not as good. Definitely not as good. But you're gaining performance, which can't be overlooked. Whoa, how to make a sudden movement there. Almost hit that tree. Oh, goggles battery is at 5%. Shit. I may have to land and change the goggle battery. All right, I got to bring this in. I didn't realize my goggles battery was so low. I'm going to keep it running, change the battery out, and then hopefully be back in the air in just a moment. All right, so that's still running. Shit. I didn't realize this battery was so dead. All right. All right, so we'll leave it running. Hot swapping batteries here. All right. I should have paid attention to that. I knew that was a possibility. God damn, my nose is stuffy. Okay, let's do this. All right, we're back up, 20 degrees tilt. We got 61% battery life. There we go. pretty good so now we're at 58% now we only flew for three minutes before like three and a half minutes so the flight time is substantially less but it's able to handle the uh, the GoPro much better so sort of a double negative here I mean it's flying a lot smoother with these motors under a load under a, a, a payload here this is definitely smoother. I want to go through here, but I have a feeling I'll get stuck. I want to go in there so bad. All right, let's keep going. We're at 49% and we've basically got about four minutes of flight time in if we factor in all the times of flight. So pretty large hit. People are asking like what the battery life hit was. Well, just know you are definitely going to lose a tremendous amount of efficiency by switching to these motors. But honestly, I will take the trade off. Like I'm able to really push it pretty good. Now the question will be is if I go out here to the grass can I do a roll with the GoPro on? Can I do a roll with the GoPro on? Yep, I sure as hell can. I don't think I could do that with the uh, stock motors. That's with the GoPro, or the Action 3, I should say. Let's see. Was that a fluke? Nope. It actually, whoa. <laughs> Gets a little low there, but you can do it. That's got a, that's got an Action 3, and I was able to do a roll with these motors. All right, let's bring it in and we will feel the motors. All right, so what's my not so scientific conclusion on this? Well, the motors definitely allow you to lift more, more efficiently. And these don't feel, again, they don't feel really much warmer under a load, which is a good sign. That means that the PIDs aren't counter-reacting the new motors. 
Um, so I don't really have any fears of po potentially damaging the ESE with having nice and cool motors. The motors are cool to the touch. I mean, they're warm because they've just been flown, but there's nothing really, you know, you know, standing out that, um, that really bothers me. So I feel like it's, I feel like this is definitely, definitely a good upgrade for sure. Um, it's just whether or not you're going to be able to stomach that loss of flight time. I mean, at this point, flying this with a action camera with the new motors basically nets you the same flight time that you're going to end up getting with the Chendron Squirt flying a Hero 10. Now, this could definitely change if you decide you're going to go with the Hero 10 Bones or something like that. You may be able to get better flight times, but again, at, at, you know, at what point do you just say, hey, you know, it's probably a better idea to build a drone? I mean, obviously, it's not going to be as simple. You're not going to get all the, the cool features um, that you get on the Avada by building. But I think if you put something like um, iNav on it, you can get similar features. But you, again, have to be versed in, um, in setting up iNav. But you can get auto hover. You can get the auto land. You can get the return to home features with iNav. Um, we use that on our Cine lifters, and we've been pretty happy with it. Um, so, I mean, you could get similar but I, 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 again, I mean, it's better, but again, at what cost? I don't see any problem. Even though it's top heavy, I was still able to do everything that I wanted to do out of it. I see so many videos of people um, trashing the idea of putting a GoPro on top. I don't think it's a good idea to do it. I think that if you have a use case to put a GoPro or something on top of the Avada, go for it. That's your prerogative. Um, I don't really have an opinion one way or the other. I still have yet to really have any detrimental problems with this drone. And at this point now, this one, this is my original Avada and I have over 140 packs. Been to Las Vegas twice with it and I've had no problems. So, you know, take that for what it is. I mean, everybody's mileage will vary. Everybody's pilot skill will vary in what type of experience they're going to achieve. All right, that's gonna do it. I'm gonna go get some more NyQuil and hopefully get some rest. I will see you in the next video. Stay rich. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, respect.